All right, welcome back. So I have done, it took me a long time, but I have done what I said I was doing and that is, I'll show you what I'm talking about, is divided the farm in three. Now, so we have the bluey purpley, which is mainly gonna be grass. I don't believe there's any animals there. And we have animals over here. Uh, we're going to concentrate on uh, animals on this side of things. So things like the pigs and things along of that nature. Because from what I saw, this one has the best animals out of all of them. And we have our normal farm. Now we still have quite a lot of grass here. And we still have horses, which... I guess we have horses here as well. Uh, we will concentrate a little bit on this side of the world for a while. I'm not quite sure if I could um, make a way to sort of uh, use, this, for example, the grass that I'm getting out of here to use it over here on this map and stuff like that. Something to do with contractors, but I think with contractors you can only use you can only use each other's equipment. So this is the map, the the farm over here at the bottom of the map um, and like I said it seems to have a lot better as far as the animals are concerned so that's our sheep and I believe um, over here is our cows or over here is our cows one or the other yeah I think over here is our cows so as you can see we're not really going to be struggling as far as um, as far as uh, fields are concerned, it's fairly tight in here. So I've decided to go with JC, uh, JCBs uh, as far as the tractors are concerned. Now I maybe went a little bit overboard as far as um, equipment and things of that nature, but um, obviously I did not want to start again on two farms. So that is to restart on two farms from scratch. The purpose of this is to show you, to show off the map. and. This is the only way that I can think of showing off this side of the map. And uh, hopefully you won't mind it. Like, um, like I said, it had to be a way where we're actually, we've actually got some stuff. It couldn't just be, you know, well, let's start from scratch type of thing. So field number six, we're ready to cut grass. If that works, if that works as well. So we got a bit of a caravan park over here. And I do believe this is field number six. Yes, it is. So I don't actually know if I could. Yes, I can. So that's good. I was going to say, I'm not quite sure if I could hire a worker or not. But it seems that I can. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Forget about this. Um, temperamental this uh, rear driving or rear steering equipment is but we'll cut the grass and we'll come and be oh, we got a bit of a bridge up here I didn't even see that we got some timber over there so let me know what you think uh, about what I've done hopefully you like it I mean the hours that I put in to try and set it all up uh, hopefully it will mean that you actually do enjoy it, otherwise I've kind of wasted all that time for nothing. Uh, now I know that some people might say, yeah, but uh, you know, you've added money, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's the only way that I could show off all these three farms, four farms actually, like I said, without me going from scratch again, and then again, and then again, and then again. I mean, okay, maybe, Maybe I went a tiny little bit over as far as uh, what I got in or added in to be able to show off the map. Maybe I could have done it with less equipment, but I wonder why we have this area over here. I'll probably add, looks like it's... Looks like it's uh, in an enclosure that I could 
this is where I can see my other farm from over here. Now obviously we're gonna pretend that they're not the same farm. So by no means are we going to go along with the idea that hey we're one farmer that owns multiple farms. This is what if I can set up in a way where we can uh, buy some of the stuff that they do be good. If we can't, well we can't, that's it. So yeah. Uh, I mean, there's always ways around it. I can always just calculate how much it would cost to buy, for example, 10,000 liters of, I don't know, wheat. And then just add 10,000 liters of wheat in my trailer and then, you know, delete 10,000 of wheat from the other place. So I could do it like that as well. And that way we can sort of, uh, you know, cooperate with farming. And that way I don't have to, especially when we go to pigs, I don't have to deal with combines and things of that nature. But, uh, it's, oh, there was a fence over here, so I didn't have to go through there. There was a gate, sorry, over here. So I didn't have to go. What's going on over here? There you are. I didn't have to go through the fence at the other end. Right? Just gonna cut it like that. bothering these people but it's midday so they shouldn't be sleeping at this hour be nice if you could get an income off this I mean I'm not talking about massive amounts but it'd be nice if you could get any type of income off this you know what let's do this why not let's set it up I'm not quite sure. Let's see if it's uh, auto width. Nope, that's fine. And that way we can do it like this and not really uh, have, uh, you know, crooked lines all over the place. It's funny that I don't see the lines at all. Now I'm going to go once more around. Okay, let's have a look. Maybe we can do it better from in cabin here. And not actually miss anything. Yeah, so I am not 100% set up yet as far as the three different farms is concerned. Uh, like I said, one of the farm, I don't think from memory, has any type of animals on it whatsoever. Uh, I mean, I can always add animals to it if I wanted to do it that way. But I'm almost 100% sure that it does not have any animals at all. So it's, oh, come on, use the width of the machine properly, redeem. So, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with that one other than uh, just basically uh, concentrate on grass or concentrate on alfalfa. I don't think I, uh, I don't think I've ever, I'm trying to think about it, I don't think I've ever in my life uh, on any FSS uh, cultivated or harvested or mowed or whatever alfalfa. So. I could just do that, but obviously, um, this is going to be. Oh, I'm missing now. This is going to be now the part of the map that I'm going to be spending a lot more of my time, but not just. If that makes sense. Let's see, is the, are the lines not showing? Okay. No. Headland might off. No. Show lines. Yes, show the lines. Okay, so we're not going to bother with them yet. They look a bit crooked, don't they? Is that how I went? 
yeah, because the animals are a lot better on this side of the map. So we're gonna anything to do with the animals, we're gonna be on this side of the map. And uh, anything to do with grain and all that, it's going to be on our original map that we start. Very temperamental. I still not used to driving this type of machine. Okay, let's see how much we're gonna miss as far as um, cutting grass is concerned. Okay, we'll do a bit of a time lapse. this made into hay because hay can be used to um, feed the sheep feed the cows but also to make TMR so that's what we are going to do as you've probably seen the mower is still cutting the, the grass so we haven't as yet finished cutting all the grass that we needed to cut uh, probably the mower is a bit small for this side of the field but that's fine um, I put it on course plate to uh, it just makes it a little bit quicker and um, give me a little bit more of a uh, you know free hand to kind of do this while we're doing the other bit as well so we're gonna do this and then we'll come and uh, tether it in and then we will come and um, bail it now uh, because we're uh, we're gonna do round bells here because obviously we normally we do square bells as anybody that's watching my video for videos for a little while knows that I don't really like doing square bell uh, round bells. I tend to stick with square bells all the time. But I did purchase the uh, that platinum pack, whatever it's called, which gave me that uh, oh, 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 destroying equipment. Maybe I should have set it up to do more than just the four passes. So yeah, so he gave me the um, what was it, burner baler. So um, you know, it's probably needs to be used. I have never used it. I think I've trialed it immediately after I got the pack, but that was about the size of it as far as using it is concerned. So this would be a good opportunity to use it and actually find out how good it is. Now I've got an in-game uh, bale trailer. I still haven't really made up my mind where um, where I'm going to load it, uh, unload the bales. I'm going to have to find somewhere close to the cows, obviously, and the sheep and all that. So uh, we'll find out soon enough, I suppose. But as of yet, I haven't got a clue where I'm actually going to put the bales. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got truckloads of space. I've got plenty of space in the in the uh, caravan park here. So uh, we're not really gonna be struggling space-wise. It's just a matter of placing them somewhere that will make it easier for me to feed them to my animals. So 
If you have any suggestions on how we can link the three accounts, I can utilize it. Utilize what the other... Oh, I don't think I left it too late. Yep. Uh, that I can utilize what the other farms are uh, producing. Feel free to let me know. I'll, uh, I would be very keen to find a way. Are we going to meet there at the same time? Oh, I think we're going to come close. Why don't I let him do whatever he needs to do? And that way, I'm not really hindering him. Yeah, it would be nice to know if I can. Yeah, if I can. I mean, I could even put the bales in that enclosed area up there. But it'd just be a little bit too far uh, for us to feed the animals uh, from all the way over there. But not impossible. I do have a very nice uh, uh, TMR mixer. I've uh, downloaded it a long time ago and never actually used it. So yeah, got a good time for me to uh, use this TMR mixer and get uh, get the most out of it. But for now, we'll just worry about doing whatever needs to be done as far as uh, yeah, as far as getting all this ready and bailed. Okay, so we might as well do this till the end if we're gonna do it like this. I have heard YouTubers say that by tethering the grass and all that sort of stuff, you actually lose. Um, let me think. Which way is the best way to do it? They say they they were saying that you actually lose up to ten percent. Now, whether or not it's true, I honestly could not tell you. Um, if it could be that bad, where you lose up to ten percent just because you're tethering it and uh, wind rowing it, up to ten percent of grass on the field so in other words if i didn't tether it and just bailed it straight up i would get 10 percent more than what i am getting right now because i'm doing this now obviously there's no way for me to prove it well there is i could just spend all the time and bail it and see how many bells i get but i'm not going to do that if you've ever done that and you know whether that's a fact or not feel free to share it i'd be very interested to know if anyone has uh, bothered to actually test that theory. I'm trying to think who the YouTuber was that was uh, saying that. I think uh, R.D. Allen, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I want to blame the guy. Maybe he didn't say it. But I, I somehow remember that he was probably the one that made this um, comment on one of his videos that I was watching. And he was saying exactly that, that you lose about 10%. Of, um, of your capacity or of the yield of the grass just because you're doing that. So, uh, it'd be very, very interesting to know if that is in fact a fact. Does that make sense? If that is in fact a fact. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I kind of need to turn around quickly. Before the mower, before the mower gets back. Oh, you go back down. All right, so let's try doing it this way. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was too close for comfort. So, again, uh, I think I've said this in every video just about how one, how nicely designed this uh, map is. Uh, it looks as real uh, as, you know, you could really be sitting in a real tractor in somewhere in the world and you could have exactly this view. Very, very hard to say that, hey, this is not some place in the world that is real. Now, obviously, this map now has kind of 
the way it's becoming it's kind of uh, lost that ideology of making money type of thing uh, and, and I know you know what I'm talking about like you know normally you would do this and there's a two and a half thousand dollar I mean normally you would do what I'm doing right now with the purpose of uh, you know making money buying fields but the way I've set it up now with uh, with having all this equipment with the three farm and so on you kind of lose a little bit of that well you lose all of it not just a little bit now that's not to say that from now on I'm just gonna add money just for the fun of it I'm not gonna do that and obviously we are uh, getting close the epi towards the 20th episode real real quick so I think we're at 17 18 19 already uh, so the purpose is not going to be for me to now all of a sudden buy the whole farm type of thing or anything like that. Um, the purpose was always to obviously enjoy playing this map, but uh, showing it off a little bit, uh, showing you you know what a great job Oxygen David did with this map. So uh, that's what it's kind of now uh, become this entire map. So yeah, I hope that doesn't offend or bother some of you I know some of you are real um, you know it has to be like to the letter as realistically as humanly possible and um, yeah that's kind of uh, at the window at the moment all right well I'll continue to do this and uh, I'll see you in the next episode so again I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your support. Thank you very much for spending some time with me. Should you have any suggestions, feel free to write them down in the comments. Should you have any questions, feel free to write them down in the comments. Any mods? You think, hey, then those mods that got really good with this map. Again, feel free to write them down in the comments. I would, uh, I would appreciate reading your comments and actually finding out what you think especially of the way I've uh, uh, changed the way the map is going I'd be really curious to see what you think of it you know I'm hoping that you like it and you enjoy it uh, and if you do feel free to write it down and let me know if you don't like it again feel free to write it down and say hey I don't really like it I don't like it because of this particular reason so have a wonderful day wherever you are around the world God bless you and your family see you in the next episode Bye-bye.